I hope that this is the beginning of the end of the Palestinian suffering. We've been saying this for years. Israel is an apartheid state. Its illegal occupation of Palestine must be put to an end ASAP. Finally, the International Court of Justice declared it to the world. This is a positive historical step only if the international community decided to finally sanction Israel and stand up for justice. Otherwise, it's just a non-binding advisory opinion that Israel doesn't really care about. In fact, as far as I know, Israel violated at least 14 international laws and 28 UN resolutions. For context, Next, international laws are binding rules and norms established through treaties, conventions, and customs, enforceable through international legal mechanisms like the International Court of Justice. UN resolutions, on the other hand, are formal decisions or declarations by UN bodies, some of which are binding and some of which are not. Yet, they still reflect the opinion of the international community and can influence international relations and policies. In the case brought by South Africa, the ICJ is considering allegations that Israel is committing genocide in its war on Gaza. A preliminary ruling has already been made in that case with the court ordering Israel to prevent and punish incitement to genocide and to increase provisions of humanitarian aid. But the Zionist project in its essence believes that its members are above everyone and everything else including the law. That's why Israel never really cared about these global efforts. Let's explore some of the international laws that Israel violated. Israel has also violated 28 UN resolutions related to the occupation, settlement expansions, and treatment of Palestinians. These include UN Security Council Resolution 242, calls for the withdrawal of Israeli forces from territories occupied in the 1967 war, other Security Council resolutions, various resolutions demanding cessation of settlement activities, respect for Palestinian human rights, and other actions consistent with international law. Understanding these violations is crucial. They demonstrate how the Israeli occupation conflicts with established international standards. Recognizing these breaches is a step towards addressing the injustices faced by Palestinians under occupation. 